731. Let me find my agenda here. Okay. Welcome to the Cotterville Township Board meeting for Wednesday, February 9th at 731. Uh, we're going to be uh, calling the meeting to order and we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, let's start with uh, roll call attendance, please. Bev? Here. Mary Agnes? Here. Carl? I mean, Carl? Absent. Um, Tom? Here. Sherry? Here. Okay, let's do with the agenda approval. Um, I have a couple of items that we have to add. The first one is under the consent agenda. First item is approval of the township board minutes. Uh, there's two items that we're going to have to add to it, changing uh, uh, some typing errors um, for January 20th and January 21st meetings. Uh, also, there'll be new business. There are two, three, four, five, six, eight, 12 uh, repair leaks for emergency water leaks that we had that were submitted by Duluth Construction. I have all the addresses and the amounts on each one that we're going to add to the agenda plus uh, for payment. And then the last item is notification by letter to two residents that haven't paid uh, some past due permits for our building department, which we're going to be, I guess, wanting you to be aware that uh, the building department is going to put it on, ask the treasurer's office, put it on their taxes for June 1st, for the July 1st billing. Do we have... Uh, a motion to approve the agenda with these extra items, please. I make a motion to approve the agenda with these extra items. Okay. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please, by roll call vote. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Carl is absent. Okay. Uh, the next little item here is going to be the consent agenda. On that will be the minutes, and we'll go through those real quickly. Uh, special meeting, the regular meeting for January 12th is, is correct. The special meeting for, Jan for Thursday, January 20th, we are adding uh, highlighted in yellow on the first line uh, from p.m. to a.m. It's just a typing error. Uh, the special meeting on uh, Friday the 21st, uh, the was a highlighted page from the 12th. It, the dates were all on the pages as January 12th because they're formatted. Um, the the uh, date should be the 21st. Also, the first line calling the meeting to order at 11:19 should read a.m. not p.m. and the meeting adjourned at 11:24 a.m. not p.m. Uh, the next item is the approval of the treasurer's reports for the tax account 3905 as of December 31st, 2021. Also, the reconciliation of the checking account number 5667 as of December 31st, 21. Cash summary report by general account for December 31st, 2021. And also the cash, the uh, Cotterville Township Investments Report as of December 31st, 2021. Uh, under number three, approval of clerk's reports, we have a revenue ex expenditure report for periods from January 1 and ending January 31st, 2022, it should be. We're just having trouble with dates, you guys. <laughs> and that is 22 pages long. We also have approval of paychecks, payroll checks from January 1st through January 31st, 2022. The gross total amount is $24,855.43. And they are pay paycheck numbers 3,007 through 3,030. Also, uh, 3C is approval of accounts payable. In the opens uh, from January 1st to January 31st is $3,752.21. The uh, 
Other uh, payables is $65,984.66. They were already paid. There's 29 checks and they were check numbers 21087 and 21115. 21115. Um, <clears throat> there's also the bank of tax account. There were five disbursements in the amount of $115,475.96. So the grand total of payables and tax dis disbursements, which would be 3C-C2 and 3C-C3, is $181,460.62. The correspondence is from the Marine City Area Fire Department for January runs and Ira Townships for January runs. Do we have a motion to approve all the items? Oh wait, we're gonna put the, no that's new business, okay. Um, do we have a uh, approval to, uh, for all of the items, approval for consent agenda? Plus the I'll make the minutes. motion to approve the consent agenda. Okay, we have a motion, do we have a second? I second. We have a second by Bell. All in favor? Signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Carl's absent. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is open session. There's nobody in the audience, so we'll continue that, and that is at 737. Unfinished business, there is none. Under F, we have uh, the first item is reimbursement of the Board of Review 2022, uh, let's the State Treasurer's Commission updates. And it costs for 20 bucks for a class paid for in advance for this $20 registration. And it was, I think it's reimbursed to Barb. And I didn't put yes. her name on there. No, Barb. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, we're making all kinds of errors tonight. <laughs> all right, number two, oh no, number, number one, do we have a motion to pay that in reimbursed Barb? I would so move. Uh, All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Bev? Yes. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Carl's absent. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Number two, request for bond payment installment for water main series number 2008. It's also known as Water District 2A. It's due April 1st. $75,000 in principal, $12,562.50 in interest, and $75 agent fee for a grand total of $87,637.50, uh, which needs to be in the hands of the St. Clair County Public Works by March 1st. Do we have a motion to pay the bond payment for Series 2008, Water District 2A, please, in the amount of $87,637.50? I'll make the motion. Okay, do we have a second? I'll right. second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second. I don't know if you're going to use Tom or Deb. But they I, both. I put Tom. Okay. <laughs> All right. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Bev? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Carl's absent. Number three is a request for bond payment for Water Main Series 2009. This is also known as Water District 3 and 4. This one is due May 1st. It's $125,000 in principal, $20,281.25 in interest, and a, paid, a payment of agent fee in the amount of $750, what we paid once a year on the first payment. And this is the grand total of $146,031.25. And that needs to be in the hands of St. Clair County Department of Public Works by April 1st. Do we have a motion to approve the payment of the water district number three and four in the total amount of $146,031.25, please? I make a motion to approve that payment. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Carl's absent. Motion carried. The next item is request for approval of the 21-22 budget resolution. This is budget resolution number 2021-2022-001. It's proposed including one page of the revenues and six pages of expenditures. Carry totals for all departments of the 101 account 
and 13 pages to cover all the changes in the current year's budget concerning the funds listed on the budget resolution. Do we have a motion to approve budget resolution number 2021-2022-001, please? I will so move. I'll second. Okay, we have a motion to approve and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Bev? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Carl Absent. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next item is new business. Under five, uh, number five under new business is invoices that were done. These were all done in the last 10 days, I believe, 10 or 12 days. Um, there's one at 7255 Markle Road, and then there was a second one at 7255 Markle Road. They were just a few feet apart. One was 3300, the other was 1950. Then in, on Broadbridge, there was just the one. 7308 Broadbridge was $2,800. 6510 Indian Trail was $4,100. 6569 Arnold Road was $2,650. 7195 Starville Road was $4,450. 6604 Arnold was $2,750. 6549 Markle was $2,525. $2,525. 7275 Markle was $2,450. McKinley Road, 7101 McKinley Road was $3,450. 7070 Markle Road was $2,400. And 6120 Arnold Road was $4,200. That grand total for those 12 items is $37,025. Check would be payable to dilute construction for emergency water leaks. Do we have a motion to pay those bills? that amount. I'll make a motion to pay the bills. I'll second. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote please. Bev? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Carl's absent. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Um, public comments? We have no public. Announcements. We have uh, any board member who wanted to attend that St. Clair County chapter of the MTA annual dinner is Thursday, February 17th, and it costs $30 a person. You have to pay your own way because the township's too cheap to pay for everybody. Um, the only thing is that night is the same night that we're ex going to have a uh, water leak, or a water leak, a water assessment on Lozon Road. Um, that's going to be... Uh, people that are interested in public water for the special assessment. That meeting starts at 7 o'clock that night. Oh, okay, um, it's the same day? Yeah. You didn't put the day on here. Didn't I? No. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's it. It's the same day. Meeting okay. starts at 7. So, um, it's not going to be a real big meeting. I think there was only 15 people on that strip, so. Well. Okay, um, you forgot these. Here. This last one? I yeah. got down that far yet. That's oh, H. Okay. Well, hello, Carl. Okay. Board member comments. Uh, no, H, announcement. This is another announcement. Okay. Um, I'm not going to mention the name of the two people, but we have two residents that are haven't paid uh, permits. I gave you a copy of the cover letter. If you want to see the rest of it, it's pretty thick because they've been trying to collect this money for a while. Um, one is on Mare Road. It's for $750. The other one is on Shortcut Road, and that one is for I don't know how much that one is for. Yeah, she didn't put the price She on forgot it. to put the amount on. <laughs> We're just falling apart around here, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mm. So, um, this is something that we voted on last year that when people don't, you know, they order their, their permits, then they, they do the work and they don't ask for inspections and they don't want people, you know, coming out afterwards. Um, we're asking them to, to pay these in a timely fashion, and if not, we're, we're not going to lose the money. We're going to uh, go out and look at the, at the job uninvited, and then we're going to uh, put the money on the tax bill for, um, and it will be on there June 1st for July 1st uh, 
paint it. So, so in case anybody, or any of these people are your friends or neighbors and they come and complain, you'll know why. Uh, I don't think I've got anything else. Anybody got any board member comments? These water main breaks, is that something maybe our engineer could look into? Is it? Go after the pipe company? Are they, are they out of business? They're out of business. The pipe company itself is out of business. Yeah, I think it's Bryce Brothers. I think they they were the sales at the time. But the uh, Ivor Township is experiencing the same thing for the same period of time that we were they were putting in water main at the same time. Do Baltimore has the same problem? It's not just us. They they must have realized that there was going to be problems and and bailed. So we have no recourse. Um, what else is I going to ask you? Oh, um, the seawall started on next door to AJ's. Uh, I sent Bill out there to kind of take a look at it. He says all this, the steel sheeting is in. They're starting to put the cap on today. They just yeah. started it Monday. I see a lot of traffic looked like going in and out of there. Does it? I, well, I just noticed the dirt the road beat up and went by. The logs okay. get to get going. Well, the one comment that the gentleman did say when he called and told me he was on premises to start the job, um, uh, it was it was funny that he said uh, it's I hope this guy has his dirt lined up so I know he was you know twenty thousand dollars cheaper than the guy that I had but that guy had intended on buying the dirt so we may not be out of the woods with this yet but at least we're gonna have the seawall in place so and uh, all that. I just, Nick went out last Thursday and marked the, the sewer, so it was obvious where it was. And it's not going to hold up any very good with an old backfall. It sure it. won't. Not very long. If the ice starts moving, we could have a, a big problem. catastrophe. So. Could we see if the county is going to be doing any work in the area where they could... They won't be doing you want ditches. gravel in there. You want sand. You want gravel in there. Yeah, you want sand. You don't want too much pressure on that wall. You don't want nothing with frost in it. <coughs> and there was a lot of frost. I dug a grave yesterday, and there were pretty good-sized chunks in it already, probably 12, 14 inches deep. So I don't know if somebody's out there walking around on the grave or what, but... We were pulling two foot on the job today out in the open field. Yeah. So. All right. It's been Has anybody got anything else to say or any questions else they want to... To talk about. If not, we probably need a motion for adjournment. I'll make the motion. <coughs> okay, 749. We have a second. Tom, second. Tom. All right. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you, everyone.